I see the Ford Motor Group have been totally unable to follow on the Mark V Mondeo with a suitable alternative. We here at Steve's Taxis Corporation PLC have designed a new prototype to follow on the Mark V. We call it the Ford Figaro. <laughs> This may not be the biggest pussy puller in the world, but when you get an interesting car turn up at this particular garage, I can't help myself talking about it. Anyway, I'm just gonna get it in. I've got to test the brakes because we've fitted new rear wheel cylinders to this car because they were leaking and the brakes weren't working very well at the back. So I'm gonna check they're working fine. Then I'm gonna have a quick chat about this car because I'm kind of liking it. Hi guys, anyway I just wanted to say when this Nissan Figaro pulled in the yard I thought to myself Ta-da! Let's get it on goddamn video! This car comes here once a year and it's been coming here for quite some time. In actual fact the owner lives around the corner from this garage. But things were a little bit slack here. I haven't been able to put many videos out lately as you know there's, because there's not a hell of a lot going on. So I'm going to talk about this little Nissan because it's a little bit quirky and I'm quite liking it. I don't think I'd have one as my own car, but I don't know. I quite, I'm, I'm quite enjoying the look of it. If for anybody who hasn't been on the planet long enough to understand or know what a Nissan Figaro is, it was manufactured in like 1991 and they were only made for a year. One year. And the, from what I believe, or led to believe, there's quite a cult following of these cars. There's quite a lot of them about, and a lot of people restore them. I guess, I guess, like many cars they do. But if you go on YouTube, you can see there are videos out there of like loads of these cars where they go to like little rallies, and they all get dressed up in their gowns and their smart clothes, and a good day out. It's quite interesting actually. But yeah, made in 1991, they called it Back to the Future. And if you can imagine, in 1991, back in the day, these are quite a futuristic looking car. They may look like retro and not like 1950s styling on the outside, but inside, they're certainly like, I don't know, it's all like modern. It, it, back then it would have been modern, really sort of like something, really something. I'm quite, even today, I'm impressed with it. I've, I've actually, we've had it here because it's, it's needed a few repairs doing to it. The brakes are in a bad state. We've replaced the rear wheel cylinders, they're all fixed now. The front brake had a problem as well, that's all done. Changed some like uh, little boots on the, on the track ends, on the steering. And the other thing that was wrong with this car, the driver's window, they're electric windows. And by the way, just so you know, they're not, they're not sort of like you've got to hold the switch. These are one touch, the driver's window is, it's one touch control up and down. Yeah, that, that was really something back then to have one touch control on your electric window. But we put a new motor in it. There's motors on eBay. 
they're like nearly a hundred bloody pound though, not cheap. But we put that in and that's quite a simple little job. Now the wind is working perfect. Woohoo! Look at that. Flipping sunshine roof, just fold it back. I am, I'm actually really impressed with this. And what's also very impressive, whoop, there's a fairy. This is a one litre turbocharged engine, overhead cam, fuel injection. You know what the funny thing is? If I'd have never seen one of these cars before, and I'd have just looked at it without seeing the badge, I would have never guessed in a million years this was made by Nissan in Japan. I bet there must be, there probably are, absolutely tons of quirky little cars like this that have been lost in time. I think what I'll do, anything else that comes in here that's interesting, I should try my best to get it on film and talk about it because it's interesting. In actual fact, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't actually mind going on a, on, a, on a day out in one of these, going to a car show, because I do like that. I don't know if you guys like that as well. You go somewhere, like maybe the seaside or something, and there's a car show going on, so you go for a walk around. You see some very interesting Kobe, motors you're out there. By the sea. What's that, Andy? Kobe, you're not by the sea. Come on, come here, I can't see you. COVID? It's COVID, you can't go to the sea and have your fish and chips. Oh, well, okay. Boris Johnson says we can't go to the seaside and have our fish and chips. <laughs> yes, we bloody well can. We can go to a car show if we want to, that's right. Anyway, folks, yeah, if anything else does come along that's interesting, because I'm sort of like, kind of winding up with the Mark V Mondeo business now, I don't know what they're going to replace the Mark V Mondeos with. I mean, the trouble is the mileage on them cars is getting a little bit on the high side. So when they get to a certain point, they're going to have to go. They're not going to run forever. So they're going to have to be replaced with something. So when that day comes and when I know the information, I will say so. I will say, this is what taxis are going to be now at Steve's, what they're going to be driving. I hope they're not going to be electric because uh, I'm not keen on the whole electric thing. I'll go into that another day. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. And it's Tata Nissan Figaro. See you guys. Adios. It's very thirsty and it's nearly empty. <laughs>